and we have one little sick girl. How do you keep a sick toddler entertained and resting at the same time? Hey everyone, before watching this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, press that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you're always notified when I have a new vlog up. And I wanna give a special shout out and thank you to Dragon Touch Tablets for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, it's Karen, and it is the weekend, and we have one little sick girl. Poor baby. So she is resting right now. She has a horrible cold and we just took her temperature and she has a fever. So she is resting now in mommy and daddy's room. Let's go check on her. Hey yeah, baby, oh and Jax has taken care of her. What honey? You feeling okay? Nothing worse than a sick little girl. We keep having to wipe her nose, so thank goodness. Back when um, quarantine started, I went and bought a ton of Kleenexes because I was afraid we wouldn't be able to find toilet paper. So we have a lot of Kleenex. <laughs> you ever go down, honey? Well, while Layla Jane is resting for a little bit, I'm going to be working on some house projects, mostly um, organizing her room. A few weeks ago, I did a vlog where I was getting rid of a bunch of toys. And now that I did that, her room is looking a lot better. But there's a few things I want to still do. I love these bookcases, but sometimes it just looks so cluttered. So I thought about getting some curtains to hang um, from there to kind of cover it up some. This should be hopefully an easy project for me to do. I just went to Walmart and I got a package of purple curtains and it came with two and it was only $10. And then I just cut them because the, uh, the length of the bookcase is only like 27 inches. So I didn't need a big long curtain. So I cut those, but then it has like all these frayed ends. So I got this stuff. This is a no sew hem tape. And you just kind of put it on where you want your hem to be and then iron it on so you don't have to sew it, which is great. And then I got some tension rods. So I think I can handle this, but we'll see. We all know my track rec record with doing crafty things. <laughs> if you've been watching us for a while, you know, I, this doesn't usually come easy to me. All right, all done. Let's go see now. Hopefully I measured these all correctly and they'll cover the entire bookcase. Not too bad so far. Hey, I think I did a pretty good job. So I can leave them kind of halfway open like this, or if I want to conceal everything, just Put them shut. And there, hides all the junk and the toys. For as challenged as I am when it comes to crafty things, I think that was pretty good. And it costs less than $20 to put all that together. All right, let's go check on our little patient and see how she's doing. And then later on, I have a big surprise for her. She's got a new tablet to play with and I can't wait to see what she thinks of it. Aww. Hey, you lost Jax. Where'd Jax go? Mommy, you're coughing. All right, now she's coughing. So we got runny nose, fever, and coughing. He's Where's down, Jax? He's down on the floor. Jax is on the floor. Do you want him up on the bed with us? Hey, Jax. Here, up over there here. There he is. Over here. No, 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 up on the pillows. Right here, right here. Lay down. Lay down. Uh, we got the whole family. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, well, you just right coughed in, right on. In my face. Cover your face. Cover your mouth when you cough. <laughs> Good job. So we knew she was sick when this morning we got donuts and she ate a bite and that was it. And didn't finish the cake pop. And didn't finish the cake pop. So that's when we know this little girl is sick, when she won't eat sweets. So if you notice, thank you. Thank you, she's doing my hair. She does have wubby right now her binky, and I know a lot of you guys have watched all of our vlogs, and that, uh, uh cover your mouth. And that we got rid, or we only allow her to have that when she's napping or sleeping. But since she's sick, we thought we'd let her have it today while she's resting. So she has been doing really well with that. So don't leave a comment saying she's backtracking. She's doing really well. I think Daddy and Jax are enjoying this resting too. 
<laughs> hey Layla, I got a surprise for you downstairs. Do you want to come down? Oh, Layla, cover your mouth. That's four times right in my mouth. <gasps> Daddy's gonna be sick next. While I'm waiting for Brian and Layla Jane to get down here, I'm gonna turn her tablet on and get it all ready. So I absolutely love this Dragon Touch tablet. I like the size of it. It's big enough for her to hold and even has a nice little handle. So no dropping and a nice kid-proof case on it, perfect. <laughs> and it has some games on there for her. You can download apps. I've already downloaded like ABC Mouse on here for her. Um, and it already comes with like a fun little kid app that she can play with. But also it's preloaded with 20 Disney audiobooks on here that she can like follow along with. So it'll be great when she's finally learning how to read. She can look at the words and listen to it. But right now it's just fun for her to listen to the books. So I cannot wait for her to see this and see what she thinks of it. I think she's gonna love it. So I already got the ABC mouse on there. And it also has this kid, kid Oz on here. And I was just kind of looking ahead on it, and I think I found some games that I think she's gonna like. And I put a dog background for her, because I knew she'd like that. See on videos, tons of things like Animal Channel, I know she would like that. Challenge videos, how funny. Maybe when she's a little older, she'll appreciate that more. American Girl Life, oh my goodness, my nieces would love that. Just tons of things. Elmo. Oh my gosh, the Wiggles, that's like her favorite. Now, um, let's go to the games. I think she's really gonna like this jungle stickers game, so I'll have this ready to go for her. There she is, Miss Queen Bee, being treated like a queen when you're sick. Still in our jammies, look at that hair, girl. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> look, Layla. Can mommy show you something on here? This is yours. This is all yours. Okay, look at this one. See the zebra? We're gonna do this one. These are like stickers, so see how this matches the owl? So I hold it and drag it over. Let's see if she can do this. Okay, she's kind of getting it. Good job! All right, that game is definitely a hit, but I really wanna show her the audiobooks, so I'm gonna go find that now. Look at all of these preloaded books. You got Nemo, Zootopia, Winnie the Pooh. Nemo. Which one? Nemo? You want Nemo? Okay, let's watch this, Layla. He thinks that he will never win. She teaches him to. Look, Layla, it also comes with a stylus. So you can draw on it. Look, can you start coloring? I think it's safe to say she loves this. What a great like Christmas present this would be for ah. you coming up. Ah. This is awesome. Ah. Her cough is getting really bad and she has asthma and so she has to do breathing treatment sometimes when she gets really bad coughs to prevent it getting down into her lungs. So we're gonna have to do one for her right now. Lovey's gonna get some. I'm gonna get some Webby. There, they all got their medicine. I think we're done. Good job. Have a high five. High five to that. You must be feeling a little better if you're asking for donuts. That makes me happy. You're gonna make it all gone. Good job, sweetie. I just hate it when she's sick. I just feel so bad. But I do like that I get extra snuggles from her when she's sick. But it's also hard just keeping her, you know, entertained in the house without overexerting her. It's just honestly a lot of just relaxing, watching movies, playing on her new tablet. That'll be fun. Yeah. We'll make it a good day. We'll get you better. Layla's up from a two hour nap, which she needed. Lots of rest to try to get her healthy again. And I was just sitting here wondering, okay, what can we do for the afternoon? Keep her entertained, but nothing too strenuous so she doesn't wear herself out. 
Well, she came up with it. She wanted her toenails painted. So we are going to paint her toenails and yeah, then I don't know what we're gonna do from there, but it's, I would just sit and kind of watch movies and things like that, but she doesn't ah. sit for very long. Layla, I think those look beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, and you chose white, huh? You wanted white toenails. Those look good. We'll see how long those last. <laughs> All right, what should we do now? What should we do? Do you wanna do some watercolors? Ooh, okay. I forgot I had just bought some watercolors at Target, so this is a good thing. It gets a little messy, but it's something fun she can do while she's sick. And here we go, got the watercolors. How about we go sit over here. I'm gonna get a big towel to cover this. Well, now that's new. What are you doing, silly? Painting with your mouth. That's that's interesting, hun. Mm. Well, you stopped doing it, so now I look like the crazy one. Layla, no, don't spill it. Layla, paint always ends up on you. Some oh well. Painting never lasts long. Well, that killed five minutes. All right, mom, so what do you guys do? When you have a toddler that's sick at home that won't just rest, won't sit still and just watch a movie and rest, like, what do you do to keep them entertained but also keep them resting during the day? I need some new ideas because we're getting into cold season here. One fun thing you can always do when you're stuck at home and with a sick kid is bake. So I'm going to try baking this like cookie recipe that one of my friends told me that's pretty healthy for kids. It's basically just oatmeal, some peanut butter, banana, you can throw in like honey syrup and there's really no measurements. You just kind of do it to whatever consistency you like. And the funny thing is, is she said her kid only likes to eat it when it's unbaked. Once it's baked, he doesn't like it anymore. So it's just like the raw cookie dough, which is fine to get them because there's no eggs in it. Put a few in the oven for Brian and I, because we don't want to really eat it raw. But I'm gonna give her a little bowl full, see if she'll eat it. She hasn't really had too much of an appetite today, so I'm not sure she will, but we'll see. Here's a little snack when you get hungry. It's peanut butter. Oh, you're not even wanting food. You don't even want peanut butter. And Layla, there's chocolate chips in there. Added chocolate chips in there. Okay, honey, you're not hungry right now? Well, I had a big spoonful while I was making it. It is delicious. Great combination. I just put it in the oven for three, at 350, probably like 10 minutes. I think they're gonna be delicious, so I'm at least gonna enjoy them. All right, well, I think we're gonna sign off for today because we just recently took our temperature and it's like 100 right now. So we're just going to take it easy, just keep doing this and relaxing and just trying to get her to not be running around. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure again to leave me any tips that you have down there on what to do with a toddler with a cold, if you have any remedies or anything good that you do with your kids. Thanks again for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at HeyMamas18. Bye everyone. Say bye, Lay. <laughs>